Hey guys, it's Jeff here from I'll Be In The Garage and today I just wanted to uh, do a little review and a little tutorial here about this product. This is the Shop Fox Drill Sharpener and this is a product that's meant to work with a bench grinder. Okay, so here's the tool. The first thing you have to do with this is obviously screw it down to your bench because you want it to be nice and stable. And then here's all your adjustments on here. This is to do gross adjustments when you put your, uh, your, your drill bit in there. These two here are for fine adjustments. So to move this little plate back and forth, you can loosen off the back one here and then adjust back and forth very gradually. And then you can lock it by using this one. Okay, next, at the front here, we have a couple of things. This is the, uh, the tighten down uh, thumb screw here which holds your drill bit in place, you tighten it down like that. See how that squishes it in there. And then you look at the front here, I'll do a close up. The idea of this is when you insert your drill bit in here and you position it like this, it keeps it from rotating. So it's gonna keep it from spinning when it goes up against the, uh, the bench grinder. So you put your, your drill bit in here. You use your gross adjustments to get a little bit of overhang on there. And then you use the thumb screw and you tighten your drill bit in there. All right? Okay, so once your drill bit's tightened in there, you wanna make sure you've got the proper overhang. And it says it in the instruction manual. It's just hanging over this just slightly. So when you pivot this, you see how that's on a pivot. When you pivot that, it's just gonna kiss the grinding wheel. You don't wanna take off too much at once. If you take off too much at once, what happens is the drill bit really heats up and you're gonna actually temper it, so it's gonna lose its hardness. So you wanna adjust, you wanna back this off here, right? And you wanna use this little wheel. Well, I have to unloosen this first, but you wanna use this little wheel to go this way and this way until you get it so this is just gonna touch it. Once you get that, you tighten up this back wheel here, you lock it down and you're good to go. actually pretty good. Now of course what I want to do is sharpen the other side. So I back this off, take the bit, flip it around, make sure it's up butted up against this little plate here. And then I screw it down again and we'll give the other side a whirl. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, if your drill bit isn't too mangled, that might be enough, just one little pass. But if you get a lot of roughness here, if your drill bit is really far gone, what you might wanna do is move it up a little bit. And the way you do that is back off the hole down, back off this locking nut here, and move it up just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. And then lock this back on, tighten her down and do another pass. So let's do that again. Flip it over. All right. Okay, that's actually not too bad. It might have a couple of little burrs on it, but I don't think that really matters. Once you start cutting, those just fall right off. One other thing I failed to mention earlier was you can set the angle by loosening up this little wing nut here and setting the angle in there if you want kind of a more pointed, aggressive bit or if you want a flatter one if you're going through harder things like steel. 
So to sum up, I can recommend this product, the Shop Fox Drill Sharpener. It's actually very good for the money, especially if you're a guy like me and you've got dozens and dozens of old dull drill bits sitting around, you can reuse them. Uh, that's it for today. So if you can hit the subscribe button and the like button, that would really help me out. And if you subscribe, I'm going to be presenting some really cool projects this year, including the restoration of this. This is my 1929 Graham Page. 